Is it not amazing how we consume negativity, believe negatively, speak negatively, act negatively, but somewhere deep down, we want to bring about something positive. For example, we love breakup stories. We love to share it. We love to search for it. We love to spread it. We anticipate it most times. We like to read and talk about it on the internet and to our friends. The average youth consumes more material about cheating spouses, breakup stories, divorces, and sorts than they do about relationships that are working and thriving. Young people in relationship believe that it's healthy and a defensive measure to always be suspicious of and doubtful of their partners. They, they come with the saying that women are bitches and men are dogs. Even if you call it just a casual expression, expressing it frequently over time makes you believe it on a deeper level, even if you deny acknowledging it um, to your conscious mind. It's impossible to have all the wrong mindsets, wrong beliefs, wrong attitude, wrong approaches and find the right kind of love for you. Whatever you are seeing in your life right now, you attracted it by what you've believed and who those beliefs made you into. We first have things in our minds and our hearts before we have them tangibly. This is a law that all science and religion acknowledges and it is buttressed by our Lord Jesus in Matthew chapter 11 verse 22 to 24. That said, what mindset leads to finding genuine, true and lasting love? What should you believe and understand about love, about relationship that puts you in an advantage, in a position to find one that will really work for you and last? So I'm going to share five fundamental mindsets I believe, I know and have worked with that helps put you in a place to attract the love, the perfect love you desire. So number one, the first mentality, the first mindset you must fortify yourself and your life with to attract the perfect love or the perfect relationship you've always been yearning for, you've always been praying for, you've always been secretly crying for is this. Love is perfect. This is the first understanding you should have about love. Love is perfect. We only use perfect love to love imperfect people. Love is absolute. In its right form, no improvement can be made on love. It is perfect and impeccable. Improvements are only made on people who are in love. People improve themselves to better understand, communicate, express and receive love. Love in itself is perfect. So this is something you must understand. Whenever you are hurt, you must know how to detach painful or sad experiences and hurting or hurtful people from love love is perfect this is not just a biblical expression this is an understanding i've come to to have it about about love love is perfect in the the idea or the concept or the reality of love is perfect in itself it's imperfect people who handle perfect love and makes it seem imperfect so whatever you've gone through whatever you are going through or whatever you might go through if you want to put yourself in a position that helps you find the love you desire the love you've been praying for always know this love is perfect and we only use that perfect love to love imperfect people and those imperfect people can tend to um tilt the color of love with their imperfection so i want you to say this out loud love is perfect and i will find the right person for me love is perfect and i will find the right person for me the second mindset you should have is this how i love myself is rela is reflected in the kinds of relationship i have if you always end up with those who cheat and abuse you, it is very likely that you cheat and abuse yourself, even if this is unknown to your conscious mind. There is a psychological screen we carry about and people will do to us exactly what they see us doing to ourselves on that screen. The first place to start searching for love after understand that love is perfect and is absolute is within yourself, not without 
not in someone else, not in a lady, not in your guy, but within yourself. You will never have a great relationship if you are not great at loving yourself. It all starts with you. This does not in any way refer to being selfish or self-centered, but knowing that you are not singular in yourself and learning to make all the compartments and components of yourself love each other, thereby loving you as a whole is the key to is another major key to finding the love you deserve and the love you desire so i want you to say this out loud don't be shy i will learn to love myself perfectly now and always you can say it once again i will learn to love myself perfectly now and always the third mindset is this it takes becoming the right person to find the right person. We don't get what we have. We get who we are. We don't get what we want. We get who we are. Whatever we have, it's because there's already a reflection of it in existence within us. Anything I want that I could get, I could get them because... There is already a reflection of it existing in me. If you have a fish in your aquarium, it is because you have simulated the ocean. If you have animals in your zoo, it is because you've simulated the wildlife. If you have people who cherish and love you genuinely, it is because you've simulated environment where that love and affection can thrive. You can love yourself and still be in the and still be the wrong kind of mate in contrast to who you want to be. You want a utopian mate. To what extent have you stimulated a utopian environment within yourself where those mates can come and thrive? Otherwise, when they come, you only have dystopia. Trying to attract the right person but being the wrong one is like filling your aquarium with wine that is equally liquid does not, does not mean it's conducive enough for marine life survival. So, it takes becoming the right person to find the right person. So, I want you to say this out loud. I will strive to become the right person and I will attract the right people. Let's go at it one more time. I will strive to become the right person and I will attract the right people. The fourth mindset you need to surround yourself with is this. Know who you are and what you deserve. Know who you are and what you deserve. Many times, love will not arrive in the packaging we are hoping it would wear. If we only focus solely on appearance, we would miss the real deal over and over again. This is why many people endure um, toxic and dis dysfunctional relationships. They are attached to the packaging, but the content is not healthy for them. They are in a conflict. They don't want to lose the content, but they are ext they don't want to lose the container, but they are extremely irritated by the content. So they settle for consuming po um, poison until it breaks them beyond recovery point, or in worst case, kill them. It is beautiful to be able to be distinct with your preferences when it comes to selecting and accepting a mate, but you must be wise enough to be flexible, adaptable. You should know what you are looking for when it arrives, even in a less fancy container. Attraction is physical, but love is ethereal. Attraction can happen instantly, but love is something you grow into. If your physical senses are your, your only judge, you'd make a lot of mistakes when it comes to the issue of love. Physical features like being busty, broad shoulders, tall, slim, slight, dark, fair and all make sense only if the content is healthy and good for you. When you know who you are, when, um, pardon me, when you know who you are, know who and what you deserve, don't settle for death simply because it's coming in an attractive container. I myself had had to walk away from many beautiful ladies in order to secure my mental and emotional peace. Attractive people are not bad, that's not what I'm trying to say, but they are deadly if their content is poison to who you are and what you've labored to become and what you deserve. Be fierce to protect yourself and fight vehemently against what you deserve 
in your life. Even if they are as pretty as flowers in spring or as hot as hell, you must learn to fight, to defend and enforce and be entitled to what you deserve. So I want you to say this out loud. I know who I am and I know who and what I deserve. Let's go at it again. I know who I am and I know who and what I deserve. That's right. Now onto the fifth defensive mindset you need to have in order to put yourself at a better advantage of finding the love you've been praying for, the love you desire, the love you, you so wish for, you passionately long for, is this. Everything works for my good in the end. You mo it must become a mentality in your mind that everything works for your good in the end. The road to love is a very brutal, brutal one. Many times, you'd be accompanied by pretentious and shape-shifting beasts only to be returned back to your starting point upon being very close to the gates of heaven, depending on what heaven might mean to you love-wise. Series of heartbreaks, denials, betrayals, broken trust, cheating, being treated below what, being undervalued, being vilified, being condescended on, are part of the, the necessary process of finding true love if you'd ask anyone who had walked the path of love and gotten what they wanted. But going past all this with the right attitude is what leads you to true love. We won't know the value of heaven when we haven't been exposed to the hordes of hell or life beneath heaven. Even with the right, right mindset, you may still encounter some difficulties before you finally fuse with the right person, the person that gives you rest. All you believe all you believe, all you fortify yourself with as a mindset, as a belief system will be tried and tested. You will be stretched yourself, but always having it at the back of your mind that everything works for your good, even if you don't know what good it brings, brings you closer to the gate of your desired heaven. When you have this fifth mindset, Evil and pain and hurt no longer wield power or control over you. You've determined to see good at the back of things and good only will come out of things. All the hell and heaven are within us. The one we cast a lot in favor of most often is the one that will overshadow us. Remember, life will bring, you to, life will bring people to test and stretch the essence of all these mindsets we've been talking about the fight will be brutal and most times you'll be alone but know this if there is a fight it's because you are advancing towards the price restriction only means that you are making progress it only means that progress could be made but by a stronger version and a better version of yourself so i wish you a very successful love life and i hope you save this video and watch it over and over and over again i am josiah emmanuel adeza and here at simplifying the christian experience we are committed to making this the christian life the christian experience simple for christians and all who all those who would admire to live the life of christ thank you so much until we meet again